Just a quick thing at the start of this video, I forgot to mention that my opponent, Sam, helped out with this week's thumbnail. So I want to give him and Sig both props for this one. Um, they both did an awesome job. And yeah, let's get into the battle. All right. And we're back for round 10. Two more rounds left. Going into this undefeated. This is... I keep saying that there's some scary matchups. Urshifu is terrifying. <laughs> um, so on paper, my opponent has a very scary team, right? They have Urshifu, Torn, and Entei. Those three alone have me very scared, right? Torn has both Rain Dance and Sun, so I need to be wary of both, right? I can't set Sun to shut down Urshifu because Entei will just come in. I can't set Rain to shut down Entei because Urshifu will just come in, right? And on top of that, Urshifu gets to know or intimidate. And so does Entei. <laughs> kind of. We'll get into it in a second. Um, and uh, Intimidate's actually really important in this match um, for Roaring Moon, specifically. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, yeah, this is an awkward matchup. Torn, Rain, Sun stuff can definitely mess us up if it's packing the right stuff, right? Um, outside of those three, Salamence is kind of a problem, especially if it's like a hurricane set, if they set rain for themselves. Um, other than that, Morgrim could be a little annoying, but we have like our main speed control option is going to be a dark type, so we're kind of whatever with that, right? Um, Golden goes immune to its moves as well. So it's hopefully just set up fodder for Golden Go. I say set up fodder. We're not nasty plot this week. <laughs> we're three attacks life orb. Basically, Golden Go doesn't need much to threaten Oko's, right? T-Bolt threatens an Oko into... Life orb T-Bolt threatens Oko's into Torn and Urshifu, right? Um, and... It's already two at KOing Salamence and Entei. Not super bulky Entei's. Entei with Assault Vest will live two of anything, but we have odds to that. So I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, so three attacks, like I said. Terra Water. Terra Water, they don't have anything other than Sceptile, really, to punish a Terra Water. And with the speed investment, Watt's speed Sceptile, so I'm not too worried. Sceptile's pretty frail, but you just make it rain and KO it, right? Even then, um, I think you, it's hard to justify bringing Sceptile versus my team when we have a Roaring Moon and a Rotom. To be fair, it's good into Tauros, but it's not good into Golden Go naturally, right? So I don't think Sceptile shows up. It might. We'll see. But we have an 87% chance to Oko, no Bulk or Shifus with T-Bolt. We have a solid chance to live Draco Meteors. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong Pokemon. Hold on now. Sorry. If we're Terrid, we have a... We live two Banded Sacred Fires plus two rounds of Life Orb from Entei, which is big, right? Uh, without Terra, we have a solid chance to live Adamant Sacred Fires as well from Banded Shadow Ball to Ikeos. I already said that. And... T-Bolt threatens some Okos, right? So this is just going to be generally good into my opponent's team. Um, after that, we have Roaring Moon, which is 87% chance to KO no bulk Urshifus with Terra Flying Acrobatics, which sounds really good. They're probably going to be Terra Water or some other defensive Terra, right? So we'll 2-8 KO at that point. Um, I mentioned Intimidate being very good for this matchup, despite Urshifu kind of getting to ignore it in Entei, right? Basically, Roaring Moon will live a minus one close combat, right? So I'm thinking the plan lead for this battle is going to be Tauros plus Roaring Moon. And that matches up well into everything, right? Other than a torn Salamence lead. That would be the worst case scenario. But even then, that's manageable because we have Terra options, right? So we'll play it by ear, see what they lead and stuff. Um, but if they do lead Torrent and Salamence, I probably will be hard switching out Roaring Moon and then hitting them with something on Tauros, which we'll get into in a second. <laughs> um, yeah, we live the minus one CC from Urshifu, which is big, 
right? And we have a really good chance to live a Draco meteor from Salamence as well. If Salamence is life orb, we no longer live. If it's modest, I believe it was a 66% chance to live. I think is what I calced. So about 66, I think it was 68, but yeah. We're booster speed as per usual. Booster speed lets us outspeed everything. We're EV'd for Urshifu, I believe. I didn't actually write down what this plus one gets us, but I'm pretty sure it was Scarf or Shifus. So, yeah. Oh, also, Golden Ghost Speed gets Scarf or Shifu and Tailwind. I didn't say that. Uh, but my opponent has Torn, so like it's basically free Tailwind. Um, in previous regulations, I used to always argue which was better, Torn or Roaring Moon. And I think they both had a place in the meta, right? Especially when Weezing was a thing. Roaring Moon plus Weezing, I think, was better than Torn plus Urshifu, for example, right? Now that Weezing isn't there anymore, Torn's probably better than Roaring Moon. But Roaring Moon has a really good matchup into Torn because Torn can't really do much to it, right? Because we have really good special defense. We're dark types, so we're immune to prankster stuff. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm not running Snarl because the only thing I'd really want to Snarl is the Solomons, right? I guess the Lantern or Grumpig, right? Grumpig physical? I don't actually know. It's how little I expect Grumpig to show up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, Roaring Moon is just very good. No Snarl because Torn's likely going to be Cloak and Mens scares us. So, yeah, we're three attacks. Anyways, next is Tauros. Tauros is one point faster than Adam and Urshifu, right? If they are Scarf, they're losing a lot of power. Or if they're Jolly, sorry, they're losing a lot of power. If they're Adamant, then they're hidden like a truck. And I want to try my best to mitigate that as much as possible and punish an adamant Urshifu. So that's why we only speed crept for adamant. We could have gotten more, but I think having a little bit extra power dump is nice. Um, we love two CCs from a non-boosted Urshifu, right? So that's like choice band or black belt, right? Which I doubt shows up. And we live a hurricane from Timid Torn with this investment plus assault vest, right? Uh, we don't live Hurricane from Salamence, but that's why we're Terra Fairy, to just Terra Fairy in its face and Terra Blast it, which is a 2 KO, even if we get Intimidated, I believe. So, if they're running bulk, though, it's no longer a 2 KO. So, Tauros is probably going to be what we Terra. It's either going to be Tauros, Golden Go, or Sylveon, would be my guess. Um, but anyways, next we have Rotom. It's a Scarf Rotom set. Basically, this is probably coming game two or three. Once we scout what Urshifu's item is, right? Um, Scarf lets us out speed. Adamant Urshifu's not Jolly. We can't get Jolly because Rotom's a little bit slower. So I opted to make sure we got Adamant. So basically, we're going to scout game one what Urshifu's item is. And if it's not Scarf or if we find out that it is Adamant, right? Then Rotom will look really good. Then we're T-Bolt, Overheat, Electro Web, Volt Switch, right? Kind of just standard moves to slot in. Um, yeah. Oh, and the bulk did something. Oh, we live two banded extreme speeds from Ar uh, from Ente, not Arcanine. Um, however, we don't if it Terra's. So they have to commit a Terra to get the two at KO, which is good information. Next is Sylveon, and Sylveon surprisingly tanks hits really well in this matchup, especially if we Terra Water, right? And the only thing that they have to hit Terra Water super effectively is Sceptile. And Lantern, I suppose. But we got Combines for Lantern, so I'm not too worried about it. So, we live Banded Sacred Fire naturally, which doesn't sound right, but it is, apparently. Um, maybe I was calking in Rain. Hopefully I wasn't. Uh, we live Mystic Water Surging Strikes from Urshifu, and we Oko Urshifu with everything back. And Terra Water is almost an Oko on no bulk Ente. If they have any type of bulk, or if they're Assault Vest and no longer Okos, I think... It Terra Water was a 2 at KO into a Salt Vest, right? So, but we have knockoff on Roaring Moon, which will put into range. So, not too worried. And the speed lets us out speed and Tay in Tailwind. So, yep. And then finally, we have Toad Scroll, which is Mental Herb. So, we don't get taunted by the Tornadus, right? Obviously. And. 
Then we can start firing off spores and rage powders. I'm kind of expecting a safety goggles on Urshifu. I think safety goggles on Urshifu makes the most sense because there is a redirector, but we'll see. If this were our moves, I think it would make more sense, but Toad Scroll is weak to, it's not weak to the water moves, but it gets hit harder than Amoongus does, right? Because of the ground typing and worse physical defense. So, probably not as necessary. Um, we outspeed Adamant Urshifu as well. I couldn't afford to drop any physical bulk to get that speed creep because we needed to be able to take things from Entei as well. So, <laughs> we outspeed Adamant, but we threaten an Oko with Leaf Storm and Earth Power Chunks Entei. Don't have anything to hit Torn, but we can just spore it, right? Because we're mental herb. So, and then Terra Water. In general, Terra Water is just a really good Terra into my opponent. So, the only one that isn't really running it are these two. And Rotom, which isn't allowed to Terra. But, yeah. So, that's the team. And I'll see you for the battle. All right. And we're back. I say we're back. Like, you guys have any disconnect. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> Grumpig actually showed up. Look at that. I'm gonna, if Grumpig doesn't show up to this match, I'm gonna ask them what it was. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. I do think that the plan lead of Roaring Moon plus Tauros is good. I don't love Rotom for game one. I do think it's gold. It's gold or Toad Scroll. Hmm. If we can win the to uh, the Tailwind interaction, Rotom's better. If we don't, then I think gold is better. And I'm not going to bank on winning a Tailwind interaction with Torn. <laughs> These nicknames. Yep, there's inner focus, which makes sense. Will Raging Bull the Torn and just go straight for our Tailwind. I'm expecting it to be these four. I don't... <laughs> I don't really expect Grumpig or Morgan. We'll see. There is a Morgan, and they didn't set Tailwind, so. Thank you, Java, for that. I will go hard Sylveon here. Because neither of these things are particularly threatening Sylveon. And I will knock off the Torrent's item. Or we can go for a fairy move in a Roaring Moon. I think. I'm okay with that. Can't break and swipe it. Room's actually decent in my team. But Sylveon should probably be faster than it. Could go for scary faces and stuff. That'd be a little annoying. And there's the Covert Cloak, so I made the right play by not bringing Snarl. Um, I will just get a Calm Mind up here. I think Calm Mind is relatively free. I don't want to reveal knock or acrobatics yet. I don't think. So I will knock off the Morgrim's Evial Light, presumably. Maybe I'd knock off into the Torn. I don't think you can risk switching into Urshifu here. You could probably risk Entei. Yeah, I think Combine and Knock Off into the Morgum is fine. There's a Protect, cool. And a Parting Shot, that makes sense. Who is getting knocked off? 
Entei, sweet. That's really good. Are you Salt Vest? Yep. That is Terra Water Terra Blast range. And I'm not seeing anything that punishes that immediately. So, I will go for that. And I will go for a Breaking Swipe. And that should KO most things that switch into the slot. Solomons will take the hit. Solar should be. I take it back. I won't KO most things. But the Entei is pinned, right? It's got to switch out or die. And my opponent doesn't know that. Maybe. Not too worried about the Torn. Last move's probably Bleak Wind or Rain Dance. Can't imagine it's Sunny Day. Maybe it is. Sylveon should live a Sacred Fire. It should live a Flare Blitz with the Breaking Swipe as well. Although. They could be faster than my Roaring Moon. Oh, we definitely love a Flare Blitz. What am I talking about? We're Terra Water. <laughs> Do I want to reveal Terra Water so early? Isn't it just better to Hyper Voice and Breaking Swipe? I think it is. All right, good. I'm, I'm glad I didn't reveal that. <laughs> Do we live in Iron Head? And then there's the bleak one, so no rain dance. But it's Terra Blast. And take it's Iron Head, right? Am I crazy? But Roaring Moon is faster than their Entei, which is good. Terra Water would have been really good there, just as a defensive. Era. They have one more turn at Tailwind, so I will go into Tauros. And I will attempt to get this Tailwind. Do I need to Terra to get this Tailwind? I think I do. I do think I need to tear right here. They have to double the Roaring Moon to get the knockout here. And I kind of doubt you Surging Strikes into the Roaring Moon. I feel like it would be a CC and a fire move, right? I feel like that makes the most sense. Terra Blast also works. And they switched. So I think we get our Tailwind, unless they Surging Strikes us. It was a U-turn, sweet. So we get our Tailwind. That's making me think it's Scarf Urshifu. Makes sense, it's really good into us. Um, I don't want to drop our defenses. Hold on. I'm going to calc real quick. And double check that Raging Bull will get a bulky Entei. They are Terra Steel. Yeah, that should be range.
Ooh. I will break and swipe. Because that'll cover them parting shotting. Surely they have speed control in Mordrum, right? It's Thunder Wave. Pretty sure. This is extreme speed. Love that. They didn't parting shot, so they are attacking. Play rough. We should live that, yeah. And I don't think we're in range of an Aqua Jet. Um, so we'll just Raging Bull and Acrobatics the Urshifu. It's better to knock off to scout its item. I don't think so. I think we go for the win. The last move has to be a move to hit Golden Go and Morgrim, right? So maybe there's no speed control. Does Morgrim not get Thunder Wave? I'm going to double check this. Ooh, it's not Scarf. Okay. All right, that's good to know. So Rotom is freed up a lot here. And then went for the double protect. That's smart. That was their way out. Oh, they just barely hung on. However, Roaring Moon is still faster. And we have Aqua Jet, so I will Aqua Jet. <laughs> Am I confident in that being Aqua Jet range? I'm not. I'm going to go hard Golden Go, and I will knock off into the Urshifu. I want to see that item. Mystic Water. Okay, sweet. And there's gold. And now we can just make it rain and knock off. So last moves reflect. All right. I kind of don't expect Morgrim here. Rotom looks so good. Okay, hold on, hold on. I do want my lead. Same lead. And I think it's Rotom over Golden Go. I don't think. Morgrim's going to show up this time. Because the two things we had in the back both kind of just beat it. This is a good lead for me. I will just Raging Bull into the Entei. It cannot protect. It's forced to Terror Switch. And it will Tailwind. Right? It's better to hold off on Tailwind. We'll knock off first. They waited to turn to Tailwind. Ooh. You scarf or life orb? It's sash. Okay. Hmm. Their max speed, they're faster than my Roaring Moon now, which makes this a little awkward. And they do threaten a knockout with Draco. Hmm. Don't want to burn my turret just yet. I don't think. I think Terra is too good on Sylveon. Well, hold on. Yeah, because we want to keep you up. Resist to Urshifu and Entei still. So I will go hard into Rotom. And I will Tailwind. I should die to a Draco. They have it. They didn't go for it. It was just a, <laughs> a blind hurricane. Hmm. I mean, they might have it. I shouldn't say that they don't have it.
I like Rotom too much to risk confusion hacks. <laughs> Think. So we'll go back into Tor. Oh, no, I want to save Intimidate. I will T Bolt. Mm, I think Electro Web is fine. And Breaking Swipe. Sash Solomons. That's interesting. Suppose they were scared of a setup Roaring Moon being a problem. Or I guess Golden Go. Or Sylveon. That makes sense. Fusion's really annoying. I mean, if we don't hit ourselves, I think we're good, right? I, we're positioned really well that Electroweb plus Breaking Swipe should be threatening big damage or awkward positioning for my opponent, right? We broke through and we missed the Salamence. <laughs> so we didn't get a Breaking Swipe off. That is very unfortunate. They needed that speed control there. Um, however, I think Sylveon can just come in and click Combined. Electroweb is not 95% accurate. I've decided. <laughs> I swear, I missed this move way more than I deserve to. <laughs> There's the Entei. Confusion ended. That's good. And we hit the Entei, which is the big thing. I will just Electroweb and I will Terra, Water, and Hyper Voice. Actually, I go into Tauros because once, well, they might not give us this guy if he protects here, yeah? Snarl's really smart, but we can just CC and Hyper Voice. So Tailwind goes up here, and I don't think there's anything I can do to stop that. So I will just ignore the Torn for this turn. And I will pin this slot. I think everything dies to this double up, minus Urshifu. Don't think we're in range of Urshifu, CC. We'll calc that real quick. Yeah, we're not in range. Man, if we hit that Electroweb into Salamence, we would have gotten a Breaking Swipe and I'm... Pretty sure that's about minus one breaking swipe range. About. It'll be close. But oh well. How much does Aqua Jet do to Torn? They're offensive, it does 23 to 29, which is not range, so I will Raging Bull and I will Hyper Voice. Force or Shifu to Terra here. Probably Terra Poison or Terra Water. I don't see an alternative. I guess Steel covers the same thing as Poison. Still is worse than Erodum though, so please be Terra Steel. That'd be awesome.
We didn't live that. Hold on. Did I calc it for minus one? Damn. What did I do wrong with my calc? That did so much damage. What the heck? 36 to 43. Why did that do so much? We saw it was Mystic Water. Why did that do so much? I'm so lost. Terra, right? 58. Oh, because we're... I forgot to Terra my Sylveon. That'd be why. Shoot. Okay. How do we adjust? I like Rotom. Rotom was really good, except it missed its attack, which sucked. <laughs> um, if it didn't miss, we would have kept Roaring Moon there. It been really nice, but alas. We'll leave Rotom, actually. Rotom pressures the Torn. Uh, have Taurus in the back to intimidate. And I think it's Sylveon again. Or is it gold? Sylveon or gold? I like Sylveon a little bit more. I'm going to go. I don't want to waste my Terra so early. So I will go hard Sylveon. And I will Volt Switch the Torn. They're just attacking. Okay. Perfect turn. Really perfect turn. <laughs> Would have been better if we got the knockout on Torn, but. I don't think T-Bolt was doing that. I can just throw off a Hyper Voice. I'm a, well. How well does Rotom take a Reiko from Sash Salamence? It takes it decently well. I think I detect here. I go for a volt switch into the Ente. I want the Salamence to stay on the field, ideally. Yeah, I want the Salamence to stay on the field if we can.
Clutch live. And Solomon stayed on the field. Sweet. I think we can just go Roaring Moon now. And Roaring Moon should... I believe... Live a minus two Draco into a Flare Blitz or whatever their fire option is. It is 50 max. Solvest Ente is doing not much. So yeah, we can just Tailwind here. Hyper Voice. And we don't need to Terror our Roaring Moon. Although, do we need our Terra for anything else? Is it better to Terra here? Terra Fairy on Tauros could be really good. So, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. But Tauros just comes in now, right? And I get a double knockout with CC and Breaking Swipe, I think. Glad I didn't burn my Terra. I guess if Tor or if Entei's faster than Tauros, they could get a burn off into the Tauros. That would be worst case. We know that they're slower than Roaring Moon, so. Wargrim in the back would be worst case scenario. Words I never thought I'd say. <laughs> we did see Morgrim's full moveset, right? It is fake out, so it can threaten a KO in a room. That's not doing much. Bulky Roaring Moon for the win. Very nice. And that's the last turn of their Tailwind. So they'll have to go for double protects if they want to try and outpace us. Um, I think we can safely CC and Acrobatics on their Protect. Like, they have to go for a double protect here, so I'm not even going to bother. Oh, they didn't. Wasted my Terrace. G, G. Damn, that was really close. Uh, game two with that Electro Web miss scared the hell out of me. Whew, glad we pulled it out. Bulky Roaring Moon for the win. Bulky Roaring Moon is so good. Also, that's Pivot into Sylveon. Clutched. Turns out Roaring Moon's better than Tornadus, chat. We just found out. Chat, like, I'm not streaming right now. What am I doing? Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. This is a really good match. And last battle is next week, right? We're going for the undefeated season. One more battle in regular season. So let's see if we can do it. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Peace.